Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Danny Treagle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And I'm finishing up uh, my top 10 list for today. I'm giving you my top 10 movies of the year 2001. And before I start that top 10 list, I have several honorable mentions. And they are Ali, Rat Race, Riding in Cars with Boys, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Swordfish, 13 Ghost, Evolution, Not Another Team Movie, Hannibal, Monsters Ball, Joe Dirt, and Joyride. All great movies, just couldn't make my top 10 list. But coming to number 10, we have um, Monsters Inc., a great animated movie. Number 9, we have Rush Hour 2, a great sequel to the original movie. Uh, Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker uh, are hilarious in this movie. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. Number eight is Jeepers Creepers. This is an excellent horror movie. Um, uh, Justin Long stars in this movie. Him and his sister are on break in college, heading home, and they come across this creature who uh, smells any fear in you. It'll want to eat whatever it wants from that uh, part of you, whether it's an eye, your head, your leg, whatever. Uh, but this creature is phenomenal. Uh, I love this franchise. There are currently three movies. There's supposed to be a fourth movie, but because of uh, the director's past uh, from 40 years ago uh, has made a stink with with a few people here i don't know if we'll get a fourth movie but cheapers creepers is a great movie and uh yeah definitely check it out if you haven't seen it number seven is legally blonde number six is oceans 11 number five is shrek shrek is a great animated movie and a great animated franchise uh john lithgow uh it is a great villain in this movie. You have Cameron Diaz and Eddie Murphy as well as the voice talents in this movie. It's phenomenal. I love all the movies uh, in this franchise, including the Christmas half hour short that we get to. But yeah, definitely deserves a spot uh, on my top 10 list. And it comes in at number five. Number four is American Pie 2. Yes. As I said, from 1999, American Pie, the four theatrical releases are hysterical. This one picks up a year um, after their freshman year in college, and they decide to all go home and party, but their party is busted, and so they're left with nothing to do until they come up with a plan to move to the beach, get summer jobs, and have some badass parties, and then have a blowout at the end of the year. Along the way, they, they're painters. Um, they run into who they think is a lesbian couple. Uh, Stifler Mom makes an appearance. Uh, so does his brother. Uh, but this movie is a lot of fun, a lot of laughs, and uh, just continues the American Pie franchise. A lot of fun. Number three is Shallow Hal. Uh, Jack Black is phenomenal in this movie. Gwyneth Paltrow is fun. I love her in this movie. Uh, she plays uh, the same part, but two different sizes. She plays a thinner version of herself, and she plays a bigger woman who she actually is. But getting back to uh, how he sees women for um, their outer beauty, and now then what's not or that. Let me start this over. He sees women for their appearances and not for what's inside uh, in here, in their heart. And so he judges these women on their looks, uh, which is why he hasn't had a lot of dates. So he meets this um, gentleman uh, in an elevator when he gets stuck, and he helps him uh, see women for their inner beauty, not so much for their looks. And he can have any woman he wants. 
And from then on, he starts meeting beautiful women, uh, which he thinks are actually beautiful, but they're not. And uh, uh, But regardless, he ends up meeting Rosemary and just instantly falls in love. Uh, but eventually, his little um, spell is broken by his best friend. And when he sees these women for the first time, for how they actually look, he is confused. But it is a funny movie. It's heartwarming. And it just goes to show you that um, you love is not based on just looks. It's based on the whole person. And that's the way it should be. It's not that way. Uh, and men and women are both guilty of that. But, uh, yeah, it's a great movie. Definitely check it out. Uh, coming to number two is The Fast and the Furious. Yes, this movie gets the franchise started. We now have eight films. We're going to have a ninth movie and a tenth movie in the franchise. And then we're getting a spinoff called Hobbs and Shaw that comes out later uh, this summer, I believe. Um, these movies are a lot of fun. I have seen all eight movies in the franchise now. And I really enjoy them all. I don't think there's a bad movie in the franchise. Even after Tokyo Drift, um, which many consider to be the worst in the franchise, if not number four, uh, I would say number four is um, the weakest. Uh, but regardless, I'll watch all the movies, but the original one has got a kicked off of Vin Diesel, Paul Walker, Jordana Brewster. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Um, but this is a great franchise, and I can't wait for the future movies as well. But yeah, number two, The Fast and the Furious. And my number one movie from 2001. If you don't know what it is, it's one of the greatest um, uh, movies, a series of movies to come from books. And it is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Or in other countries, The Philosopher's Stone. Uh, I love this franchise. Uh, I watched all the movies for the first time uh, in full uh, in 2017. Now, the first movie I had seen all the way through. The first movie is my favorite in the franchise. Um, I just love their innocence in this movie, how they're starting out. And yeah, I just I love the original movie more than any other sequels. But I love the franchise as a whole. Um, there's definitely no bad movies in there. And I love the way it ended. And uh, I really would like to sit down again and just binge watch all eight movies one weekend, starting on a Friday, and just, you know, watch two one day, and then three, and then two, you know, whatever. And uh, But the franchise is great. Um, I haven't seen uh, The Fantastic Beast or those movies yet which are supposed to be prequels to Harry Potter, I guess. But uh, nonetheless, uh, Harry Potter deserves to be number one for the year 2001. And so there you have it. Those are my top 10 movies of 2001. In the comment section below, give me your top 10 movies of 2001. And did you agree with my list? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. You guys are great. I love each and every one of you supporting my channel. And don't forget to share these videos with friends and family as well. The more subscribers, the more fun it is for me. And as always, I don't do this for money, um, for kickbacks or none of that stuff. I do it for the, um, for the fun of uh, movies, TV shows, and all those fun things. But until next time, I thank you for watching and check you later.